Right, here we are back at the farm. What you're looking at is a John Deere rotary hoe model 614. It's 20 foot long. It weighs about 3,000 pounds and I bought it at an auction. My dad found out about it down in Farmington, Minnesota, 100 miles southwest of here. Um, and I just picked it up yesterday and drove it back back up here. I paid $275, $275 for it, which is about the price of scrap. And uh, it's something I needed for cultivating. It's going to be next spring to cultivate the corn since I can't spray for weeds. Um, and it appears to be in decent working order. You can kind of see there's a tire here and then there's a tongue that's going vertical off of that. That will actually rotate so that you can pull it this direction and uh, there's a rock garden a guard here and then up on the top there's supposed to be another tire in that thing and that will actually flip down below and have a tire in it so it'll rest on that tire and then this tire over here gets stuck in the front and that goes down so it'll rest on that and then the third tire and it's in the up position now but it'll go from here to up in that tube right there and so that way you can put it behind the tractor and, and pull it out to the field because being 20 foot wide, it's really hard to get that down the highway, um, per, you know, perpendicular to the tractor. It'll hook right here to the tractor, the back of the tractor and a three point hitch. And this, this two spots where my fingers are and then one more up here. Um, they all, the spoons all appear to be in, in decent shape. There's a little bit of rust, but I think I can get it up and working. Um, and one other final thing I want to say is that on this trailer, it's an 18 foot trailer and it, you know, most of the weight's supposed to be in front or over the axles and there's a fair amount that hang out in the back. So I had to go really slow driving this down the highway, 45 miles an hour, because it just starts to fishtail a little bit in the back and kind of freaky. Um, I can show you over here the other thing I'm working on. The case, the 7140 place these little struts which is a pain um, they hold up this cowl I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them but these struts here and there was two of them and to get it up in there across the top that whole frame had to come out and uh, I got them in there but now there's some goofy thing with this little lock that I don't know I gotta mess around with that um, it's a beautiful day out here. It's probably 50 some odd degrees and uh, just show you around and one last look at the rotary hoe. Oh, and then uh, the way I'll get that off of there, they put it on with a forklift. I, I got to drive it up to the dealer, John Deere dealer, a couple miles away and he will take one of their forklifts and lift it off and I'll attach the tractor to it and drive it back down here. That's all for now. Bye.